Hi, my name is Alistair Lee. In this video, we're going to take a sneak peek at some of the new features in the next version of Adobe Connect. Specifically in this video, I'm going to take a look at some of the recording features, particularly the ability to edit recordings that you may see show up in the short future. To do that, I'm going to click on the Edit Recording button, and that's going to open my recording up in my browser window. I'll pause the recording so that we don't get the sound coming from the recording itself. You'll notice a couple of differences right away. First, the index appears automatically. Now this event index is not new. This is something that we've got in the current version of Adobe Connect. But in the current version, it doesn't open it automatically. It makes it very difficult to discover. Now we'll have this event index automatically opened up for anybody who's viewing the recording. And again, these recordings can be viewed just using the browser. Since I'm editing this recording, I've actually got a few additional buttons, and these are actually new to the next version of Adobe Connect. The first is this Settings button. I can use this Settings button to further edit the recording. We've always had the ability to crop out certain sections of the recording to edit down that timeline. Now I can actually dynamically choose to hide some pods in my recording. This is particularly helpful if I want to make the recording anonymous. So I can remove the chat pod, the attendee pod, or the Q&A pod from my recording. These will simply not show up for anybody watching the recording. Very, very helpful if you've got chat that you don't want people to see during your recording, or you want to hide the names of the people that showed up during the live event. If you want to keep the data, if you want to keep things like the Q&A, the questions that were asked, or the chat that happened, but still want anonymous data so that you can publish your recording, you can actually hide the names of attendees during playback. This will keep things like the chat pod and the attendee pod and the Q&A pod, but completely anonymize all of the data everywhere that it might show up. So obviously in the attendees list, instead of seeing attendee names, we'd just see user one, user two. The same is true of the chat pod and the Q&A pod. It'll be anonymous users now asking questions rather than having people's specific names show up. I'm going to go ahead and hide the names of the attendees during playback. Once I hit done, you'll notice this open chat pod that I've got over in the bottom right hand corner is automatically anonymized. Before I click to save this, I want to show you a couple of other new features that are coming in the next release. First, I've got this beautiful index that I can use to search and jump to any specific section of the recording. This index is any time I moved from one layout to another, like went from my lobby layout to my presentation layout, then to screen share. And then when I was using the presentation, it shows me all of the different slides that I was showing in that particular layout. Again, this feature isn't new, but what is new to Adobe Connect, uh, or the next release of Adobe Connect, is the ability to edit this index. So I can turn on uh, editing mode here and then choose to hover over any one of these particular chapter markers and either delete that chapter marker altogether if I don't want it showing up or choose to edit that. So if I have a better description of this particular layout or this particular chapter, for example, I might want to call this new features. I can edit any one of these different uh, chapter markers. In fact, I can even uh, enter my own chapter markers. Using this button down here, I can enter my own chapter marker. It'll take a look at where I am in the index and use that as uh, the, the place to put the new chapter marker. So I'll put uh, intro to features and hit save. And you can see I've got a new intro to features chapter marker right inside of my recording index. I can also create a bookmark anywhere in this recording. I'm going to move along by a few minutes. And uh, there is a bookmark button that I can use that will automatically take the time, time code from wherever my cursor is in this recording, create a bookmark that I can name. So I can call this New Requirements, and add any notes, uh, changes to Flash Player, and add in and hit done. And now I've got a new bookmark that will show up in this index. And you can see that I've also got the ability to include bookmarks anytime I search. So if I search, for example, for Flash, my bookmark will show up in the index. That's just a quick look at some of the new features that you can expect to see in the next release of Adobe Connect. Thanks for your time.